basically if you're going to volunteer here at Chip and Goalie, you've got to be able to do a little bit of everything. You don't have to specialize in anything. Basically, um, we ask people to come and help us. They actually are here to walk, work for the animals, not always with them. Although we do try and have as much contact as possible. But obviously the volunteer must understand that we are here to look after and care for wild animals and where we can release them back into the wild because that's our primary aim. Where wild animals are unable to look after themselves and care for themselves in the wild, obviously they become full-time residents here at Chippengali. It's very important that we educate people into the um, importance of our wildlife heritage here in Zimbabwe and we actually need to teach not only the, our locals but also anyone else that comes to visit Chippengali how important wildlife is. The perks of volunteering here, well you get to meet lots of different people. Um, my name is Coco, I'm 18 years old and I'm from Holland. My name is John, I'm from Manchester in England. Yeah, I'm Rebecca, I'm also from Manchester. My name is Maya, I am 20 years old and I'm from England and Germany. My name is Ophir, I'm from Israel and I'm 23 years old. Uh, I'm Rachel, I'm 26. I'm from the United States, from South Carolina. My name is Mia, I'm 27 years old and I'm from Ireland. My favorite thing about working at Chikungali is that Chikungali attracts the same kinds of people, like very open-minded and adventurous. The thing about working here is probably just the amount of contact we do have with the animals and the people are just so much fun and it's just such a great time. Friends for life. Yeah, and so many plans for the future to like meet up yeah. and see each other again, even after and then like a lot of people are coming back and then there's gonna be new people and it's amazing it it's is the best part you learn so much from everyone and you meet a lot of different age ranges and whether it's someone who's 60 or 15 and you get to learn something for everyone and you get That's to learn great. like words and new languages my favorite thing about working here has definitely been interacting with a lot of the animals obviously you don't get to like physically touch a lot of the animals you are reminded kind of as soon as you get here and rightfully so that you're working for the animals not necessarily with the animals um, another perk at um, Chip and Gailey is although you sometimes just do not so nice jobs like cleaning cages and things like that you have to remember that we are always trying to environmentally enrich our cages so that the animals don't get bored or destructive or anything and it's it's quite nice once you've actually cleaned and redone a whole cage and put some environmental enrichment in it to actually see the animal go back into the cage and just start smelling and sniffing or even rolling and doing you know is totally pleased with his new cage with his new smells and everything. We decided to volunteer because uh, we wanted to do something different we wanted a bit of an adventure and um, we want to uh, help people who are helping animals uh, so that's our, our passion. My favorite thing about working here would probably be feeding time to all the animals whether it's the monkeys and the fruit or the lions and cutting up all the meat preparing it I think. Yeah. Um, so my favorite thing is like it's kind of split so I love doing the feeding times because it's it's fun to see it and to like help but I also love like seeing all the animals and hearing about them like where they were and then hearing about like how far they've come and how great they're doing. So before I came here I expected the work to be quite similar to what it has turned out to be a lot of helping with feeding the animals and cleaning the cages so that was that wasn't a shock to me but we've had a lot more contact with the animals than I thought we would be able to. And um, so some of the biggest perks that I personally find in working at Chippengali is that not only do you get to experience life as a volunteer and enrich the lives of wildlife and learn a lot about them, you also get to do some incredible off-site visits. If you want to go to Victoria Falls, um, we do try and help you as much as possible go to Victoria Falls and it is one of the seven wonders of um, the natural world and it's well worth a visit. Fortunately you do have to bring cash most of the time although um, if you have a credit card that is not a maestro card it has to be a visa or mastercard then you can actually pay for your activities via your card but also they organize for you to go on a rhino trip in which you go and you learn all about rhinos and the poaching and everything that's been going on that's been kind of detrimental to the lifestyle 
lifespan. And um, but the only an the only activity I've done offsite has been the research trip where we went to the Matopos National Park and looked to reset the traps and found a tracking collar and hiked up a little hill and it was just so much fun. Um, learned a lot, saw a hippo. It was just yeah, it's a good time. The activities I have done are the rhino walk and the research trip, which I really enjoyed. And I've yet to do the Vic Falls, Victoria Waterfalls trip. Um, any advice for new volunteers? Don't expect to come here and just play with animals and cuddle them all day. You come here and you have to work and you have to clean and you have to touch blood and poop or whatever it is. But you have to remember that it's working for the animals. That you, you are helping them even though you're not touching them. Everything you're going to do is not going to be glamorous, but you're going to feel so good at the end of it because you've actually contributed and you're actually making their lives better. Um, also, if you're packing and you think you might need it, you should probably bring it. <laughs> <laughs> However many weeks you're planning to stay, maybe add one or two weeks because you're going to regret staying that amount of time. So yeah, stay as long as you can. To see that you are making a difference in the animals' lives. And that's what's important to us as well.